The next thing that we're gonna do is get your domain name and hosting. And remember, this stuff is easy. So let's go ahead and click on it. And let's read what we need to do. So the main points are your domain name. So what is a domain name? Your domain name is the same thing as your website name. My domain name is tyler.com. Google's domain name is google.com. Facebook's domain name is facebook.com. YouTube's domain name is youtube.com and Harvard's domain name is harvard.edu. So you can have a .edu, a .net, and .org. I'm sure you've seen this plenty of times uh, around the internet. So hosting is a little different where hosting stores all of your information. So like your images and your text. And hosting is a computer that's on 24 hours a day that basically anyone can connect to and get all of your images and text. You see all of this text right here and any of my images or anything, they're all stored on a computer. So that's all hosting. If I didn't have hosting, none of my images would show up. None of my text would show up. None of these colors would show up. It would just be blank. So hosting holds all of this information. So, uh, domain name and hosting does cost money. So a domain name costs $13 per year. So that's your website name. So like tyler.com, that costs me $13 a year. Where hosting is, again, where we store all of our text and images and everything. We hold all of that information. And that's $10 per month. And we can get that at hostgator.com. And that's what I recommend. So $10 plus $13 plus a little discount is, you know, under $20 to start. So my recommendation is to use hostgator.com for your domain name and hosting. So we can just go there. We can go to hostgator.com and I recommend them because I've used them for years. So H O S T G A T O R.com. We could just go there. And again, I've, I've used them for over 10 years and they have live chat, which is cool. And obviously I haven't used every host. I'm sure there are other really good hosts out there. This is just who I recommend. There are also some really bad hosts out there. So, so uh, you know, do your research or whatever, but this is just who I really recommend and this is who I like. And, and in my tutorial, you know, HostGator sets things up in a specific way. So we're going to be using, you know, the host gator way of doing things, but you can still follow this tutorial if you're on another host or if you have other hosts, but that's just, you know, what I recommend. Okay. So once you do that, you can click on web hosting and then we can choose a plan. You can click it and it'll scroll down for you. And we have three different plans right here. So we have the hatchling plan, the baby plan, and the business plan. The interesting thing about all of these plans is that you can upgrade at any time. So why go with the most expensive plan when you can upgrade uh, from the baby plan to the business plan at any time that you want? So it's kind of it's kind of silly to start off with the business plan or start off even with any of their other plans start off with these uh, shared hatching plan, baby plan, or, or not the business plan, because that's just too much. So the difference between a hatching plan and a baby plan is the hatching plan is a single domain. So like, I would only be allowed to have tyler.com on there, where a baby plan has unlimited domains. So I can have tyler.com, I can have, you know, uh, my mom's website.com or, or, you know, another business.com or .net or .org or whatever I want. So that's the main difference between, I think that may be the only difference between the hatching plan and the baby plan is the baby plan allows unlimited domain names. So unlimited website on your, on your hosting and which is a really great deal. So you can have a whole bunch of uh, websites. Um, you do have to keep on buying the domain name. So no matter what, the domain name is going to cost you $13 a year, but it's not going to cost you any more for hosting. So I personally have the baby plan, but why would you go with a baby plan if you can upgrade at any time? It just doesn't make any sense. So unless you're going to have two websites right out the gate, then, then go with the baby plan. But if you're not going to have two websites right out of the gate, 
then go with the hatchling plan, single domain name, single website, and uh, that will be your best bet. So we can click sign up now. And once we do that, it's going to ask for our domain name. So what do we want our domain name to be? So, um, and we have all these different extensions, this .com, these are called extensions. So uh, mine's gonna be get me cardboard com, and it's gonna see if that's available. And it's gonna say, yes, this is available. Do you wanna add any of these other uh, websites? and these other extensions. And I'm gonna say, no, I don't wanna do that. Um, so we have all of these different ones and you can use a different one. It's, it's cool and it's common to use, you know, uh, .space or .co or .club or, you know, .website. You can use any of those if this is not available. A lot of the times your domain name is not going to be available. So um, what do you do? You, you just use a different extension or you come up with maybe a more creative domain name. If you already own your domain name, for example, you went to godaddy.com because you didn't want to you know, lose the name um, and you already purchased it, you can click I already own this domain name and put it in right here. All right, but since we're getting it new, we're starting fresh, just uh, put your domain name right in here. All right, I don't think that you need other um, extensions. So I don't recommend getting the .org, .net, .me. Of course, these businesses are gonna tell you that you need to do it and it's important, but I don't think it is important. Um, I just think just go with the .com or the .net or the .org or the .space or whatever you have and don't worry about uh, you know, getting a whole bunch of ones and, and running up your cost. All right, so it's going to ask you, and sometimes it gets a little tricky here because sometimes they, they move this around, but it's going to ask you, do you want privacy protection? And I honestly don't think that you need it, and again, you can add it at any time later. But what this does is anyone can look up uh, anyone's information. So if you have... Um, let's say google.com and they don't have privacy, we can see, sorry, we can see where they um, where they do business. We can see their address, uh, we can see their email and stuff. So I trust people, so I'm not gonna hide my privacy. I'm not gonna do privacy protection, um, but that is really up to you. And I think it just disappeared, so I don't know where that went. So we're gonna have to figure out where that is later. All right, so we have the hatchling plan, and that's what we want. And here it's going to ask you, okay, for 36 months, do you want to do it? And uh, you get a bigger percent off the more months you go. So we're going to do it month to month. And I just personally like to have it on month to month just so, you know, even though HostGator has been good for 10 years, you know, what if they, they start sucking? I don't want to be... Um, locked in for 36 months but you know then again it's probably smarter to to you know go longer term because you get a bigger discount so that's you know really up to you you can do somewhere in the middle but i just like going month to month so that my overhead you know when you start a business is as low as possible so that's my thinking on that um secure username okay i think that's you know whatever uh, security pin, who knows? You just enter in those. And then it's gonna say all of your billing information and your credit card and your credit card number. and Or you can you know pay f with PayPal if you're from an, you know, a country where um, they're not accepting your credit card. Um, all right, then we're gonna do additional add-ons. So, and again, you can add these anytime you want later. So I'm just gonna uncheck them. And I don't think that you really need them, really. I mean, there are, um, I, I don't think you need them. So we're just gonna uncheck them. And then it's gonna say, okay, enter your coupon code. And we have a better coupon code. So we're gonna put in 35. That's T-H-I-R-T-Y-F-I-V-E. And this saves you 35% instead of the 
uh, 20%. So click validate and you can see that the price will drop down. So it's dropped down way below. So um, it's gone from, you know, $11.68, which I don't know if it's always that cheap. I thought it was a little more expensive than that, but uh, that's what it is. And I do get credit for this. So thank you very much for putting this in. I really appreciate it. It helps me make these free tutorials. All right, so then we review our order. We have, you know, 24-7, 365 uh, phone, live chat, and email support, free account activation, free money back guarantee, 45 days. Domain name registration, $6. Hatchling one month, um, about $6 in the discount. So it comes out to $11.68. So that's uh, cheaper than I expected. I thought it was I thought it was more close to twenty, but maybe they're having some sort of discount right now. All right, so you click I have read and agree to the terms, and you press checkout. Then it's going to tell us that our order is complete and welcome us to the HostGator family. Isn't that nice of them? Um, that's when you know it's time. You can go ahead and check your email. Your email is gonna contain all of the information that you need in order to build your website. So we are done with this. So let's go back here. And that's actually um, click, hold, and drag it out. So it drags into a new window. All right, so now that we have done that, we can press complete. So complete lesson, and we can see that it will raise our percentages so that's pretty cool and the next thing that we're going to do is just we're just going to go back to the main thing right here and we have completed both of these lessons 